So can you recount the events of what happened where Jack was used to find the gentleman? Yes, so we were called by the Woodstock Police Department to uh, help locate a 74-year-old male that had gone missing from a residence. Uh, we got on scene and I quickly deployed Jack. We began tracking in the area and uh, we tracked about a mile down the Rock City Road. We went behind uh, the town park, Andy Lee Field, yep. We went into the woods and uh, found the male in the swamp beneath a little bit of ice and about six inches of water. Um, I called the Woodstock Police Department to let them know that we had located him to send an ambulance to help. Uh, once the ambulance got there, I, I picked up the male, I carried him out to the field to get him out of the water so that he didn't um, get too cold with the uh, hypothermia. Uh, the ambulance came and took him and uh, he recovered, full, full recovery. And so how long from start to finish um, did it take Jack to locate him? Um, we started the track, uh, I would say probably about an hour from start to finish. He's a lucky man. That yes, he... very lucky. What was the, um, the temperature outside? It was probably 45 to 50 degrees, uh, but he was laying, like I said, he was laying in about six inches of water and ice. Uh, half of his body was in the water and ice, so he was uh, definitely another half hour, an hour, and it wouldn't have been a good outcome. So what was his state of mind when you found him? Was he conscious? He was conscious, yes, uh, but he, he was unaware of where he was. And was did he have like dementia or anything? He had a history of dementia and Alzheimer's, yes. So that was the cause of why he was wandering in the first place? Right, we believe that's why he wandered off, yes. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Reporting for The Daily Freeman, this is Tanya Baraklow.